All right, guys, I got asked tons of questions about magnesium and how to decide between the different types of magnesium. So I want to break that down for you guys in a way that's easy to understand. So think of the second part of the magnesium preparation as the carrier or the companion of the magnesium. So it's going to kind of tell it where to go and what to do. And so in this case, with magnesium 3 and 8, it's bound to L-threonic acid. L-threonic acid is out of all the magnesium preparations, the most readily able to cross the blood-brain barrier. So it gives you a much higher bioavailability and constant concentration in the brain and so it helps throughout the day with a calm collected sense of mental clarity memory energy and focus and so it's a good thing to take during the day it does not have a sedative effect that you might get from a magnesium glycinate or a magnesium bisglycinate for example that have glycine attached to them the glycine part of it is known to be a very calming relaxing amino acid that actually helps prepare your body for restful sleep and so that one you generally want to avoid during the day if you can it might make you a little bit drowsy but at night night is perfect thing to take. So I hope that answers the question about those two. In terms of the other ones, magnesium malate is something that is a byproduct of the Krebs cycle, which is found in the mitochondria. The mitochondria are energy powerhouses in high concentration in your muscles. People looking for an athletic edge, boost in performance in the gym, magnesium malate might be a better option for you. Then you have magnesium taurate. Magnesium taurate is bound to taurine. Taurine is an amino acid that likes to go to the heart. And so it's being studied in a possible role for preventing heart disease and for helping with hypertension. It has been shown in some studies to help with hypertension in animal models, not yet in human models. So that one still needs more research. But if you have heart disease or if you have hypertension, not a bad thing to try and see how it makes you feel, see how your blood pressure does on it. And the last one I'll talk about is magnesium citrate. Magnesium citrate likes to concentrate in the bowels. It actually acts as an osmotic laxative. It helps people in the hospital, especially we use it for patients who are having constipation. So for me personally, when you combine all these together into one large magnesium super formula or magnesium super complex some of these magnesiums I don't really need personally like I don't need the magnesium citrate because I don't have any issues with my bowels. So for me, I don't really like that big concoction of all the magnesiums put together. Also, I don't like to have magnesium glycinate during the day, so I then can't take that formulation during the day because it's gonna make me drowsy during the day. So for me, I like to break it up into the individual components of what I need. I do recommend that for my patients as well to target whatever you're looking for. If you need athletic performance, do the malate. If you want heart health, do the taurate. If you want mental clarity, do the three and eight. And if you want restfulness, do the glycinate. If you want help with your bowels, do the citrate. If you do them all together you still are getting a lot of great magnesium sources throughout your body but for me the magnesium 3 and 8 during the day and the magnesium glycinate at night is a 10 out of 10 but it's all about finding what's best for you it's all about individual health care and finding what's best for each individual patient talk to your doctor about it work with them together on it and find out the best option that works for you and your body